Yeah. We love the we may have. You're allowed to say what the title is, right? Of the episode? Yeah, it's, uh, the episode is called The God Complex. And it's, which, which order does it, once it starts? Uh, it's uh, number 11. So, uh, number five. 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 Uh, number four of the next. Yeah, four. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's wasn't my strong word. Why are the camera writing? <laughs> uh, what's um, what does it take to write a good monster for the doctor? Uh, I think you have to find the bizarrely, you have to find the, the kind of humanity of it. You have to find, in a way, the sympathy of it, um, because I think there's nothing more boring than a kind of straightforward villain who just wants to do evil. Actually, what you have to find is the the kind of mitigating factors. You have to find the, the sympathies and the complexities within the character to make them interesting. Um, I mean, for example, you know, the character of Rosanna in Vampires of Venice, her whole motivation was actually quite arguably benign. She just wanted a very small piece of the earth to save her entire race. So, you know, and, and that, you know, means that her motivation is, is complex uh, and not, you know, not simple and not just pure evil. And I think that's the secret of it. Is so which, is, which is kind of the way the Doctor investigates as well, isn't it? He, you know, he never approaches a monster with the intention of killing it. He wants to know what it is and why, and he's excited by... Yeah, absolutely. What its motivation is because in a way, because I mean, the Doctor Who is uh, is essentially a detective story every week, and um, you know he'll you know they arrive, there is a problem, there is something going on. He then has to find out when or what has led them to this point, and uh, yeah, so understanding the kind of the the, the intention and the uh, you, you know is, is a big part of that sort of investigative process. Presumably, though, in the, in the coming episodes, we maybe get some resolution to the whole astronaut kills the Doctor. Yeah. Seems like an issue that could come up. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I imagine they'll probably address that at some point. <laughs> um, I, I genuinely don't know. Because uh, the thing is, the, the one downside of, of working on Doctor Who is that you inevitably learn a lot of stuff that's going to happen. Um, so, you know, I knew months and months in advance, probably before Matt and Cam, uh, you know, who Riversong was. Uh, because there's a specific line in the God Complex that I needed to know that information to write this line. And it's the one kind of thing is that I, because I want to be watching it like you guys, I want to be watching it with my kids and enjoying it. Um, but so I, I deliberately don't know how the series ends because, you know, I'm, I'm a, 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 I love the show as a viewer as well as a contributor to it. The brilliance of Stephen is that he will tell you the things that you need to know, but he takes so much pleasure in holding back and yeah he's really back. mean like that man i've got to say the amount of times he's told us yeah you know a desert in utah brilliant go and get that location take your cameras out there take your cast and then we get the pages and go oh my god what's he done this is not he just he just loves curveballs um and, and and actually we love them too because it means we're constantly surprised well then uh, so matt when? When do we get to see the new ones? Well, actually, yeah, uh, uh, I think uh, the next episode airs the 27th of August on BBC America. 9-8 Central? 9-8 Central, yeah, we, we, I think that's right. 9-8 Central, that's right, yeah? But yeah, thank you very much, lady in the front row. Um, <laughs> you, don't, you don't have Central where you guys come from? No, no just Greenwich <laughs> Mean Time, I think it is. I have no clue what I'm talking about. But, um, uh, and are we, are, we, are we showing things? Yeah, that, I, what I, what I want to do, there, I, I suspect there may be some questions at some point. Indeed. Uh, but absolutely we do that. Can we show, let's, let's uh, show a little clip of what maybe is coming up a little. Yeah? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, uh, let's see what's going on. <laughs> we will show it at the end of the uh, panel again, yeah, of course. No doubt. No doubt. Oh, wow, look! Oh, wow, look at that. Holy... That is brilliant. Dude, you're in trouble. <laughs> of um, San Diego Marshall <laughs> School. Hello, and, Nick. Um, I've been a big fan for quite a while, and uh, I do have a question, but I think he would like to ask it. <laughs> oh. That seems intimate. <laughs>
really take a picture. <laughs> Okay, so, so, um, uh, okay. <laughs> so, Nick, Nick, what, what... I, I think his question is, will any of his kind be featured in the new season? Oh, more Daleks. Oh. We're, we're going to see more Daleks coming up. There's only really one word that could answer that question, and that is spoilers. <laughs> I'm sure that we can organise that somehow, yeah. We'll, we'll, figure, out, we'll figure out how to get we'll that. We'll sign the dollar for you. First off, congratulations on having the most fantastic show on the planet Earth. Um, my question is, Doctor Who reaches so much further than television, there's books, radio, and, uh, and then this last week, um, a band called Chameleon Circuit charted on the Was an album still got legs? It's nothing but Doctor Who songs. What do you guys feel about that kind of phenomena around the show? Yeah, I mean, um, the phenomenon around the show. So, so, sorry, could you just tell me what the comedian circuit did? Sorry, because I'm... Uh, oh, sure, I'm, well, uh, Charlie McConnell, who gave you Charlie the Badger, I don't even know if you know. Oh, yeah, 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 Charlie! Yeah. Oh, wow, he's a cool guy, man, I love yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and they just, they released an album a couple of weeks ago, The Chameleon <laughs> Circuit, and it... A rent yeah, he, on he, there's that great song he does um, about the Big Bang, isn't there? It's brilliant. Oh yeah, I mean, I that's mean, brilliant. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's great, and it's kind of uh, remarkable that that um, that the, the who reaches so far and wide, and uh, you know, I mean, people like him, like he's getting like a million hits, isn't he, on YouTube and stuff. It's uh, Charlie's, Charlie's, Charlie's a big hit, man, and uh, I think we're lucky to have someone like him championing our show and and, and spreading the who word, man, for sure. <laughs> yeah, Karen oh, of the Bay, right? Oh, well, next year. <laughs> Hello, uh, your Russian fandom sends their love. We really wish TARDIS could land in Russia more often. And uh, my question is, you guys are clearly fearless. Is there anything that will scare you as an actor on the set? I heard John Barrowman on my return. And <laughs> Do you know, Matt's taken to hiding in my trailer, um, and he there's a little bedroom area, and he hides there with a massive shoehorn and jumps out at me whenever I go in there. Um, yeah, shouting at me, and, and that mental. is yeah, like I mean, like I slid down the wall, almost crying, slash laughing. Um, so that genuinely scares me. Yeah. You scare me. <laughs> So it's that kind of set then? Yeah, it's a playful set and, and you know, kind of me and Karen, Arthur are great friends and uh, you know, it's, it's, you kind of have to turn into a family on that show because you spend so much time together so yeah. we're very lucky to have the support. It's a bit like where you're shooting too, right? Yeah, we shoot in Cardiff, which, which is, um, yeah. it's, you know, it's not that fun. Uh, I know that Cardiff gets a whoop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys have never been, but you know, we're <laughs> ready to laugh. <laughs> Um, around in this question is for Toby. Around 1983, there was the Five Doctor special. Is there going to be another one for the series? Uh, I, I, you'd have to ask Stephen that. But um, yeah, why not? Come, let's bring more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somewhere I, I can. I think I hear Stephen Moffat screaming. <laughs> <laughs> he would be screaming with ecstasy. He would be great. <laughs> oh, this place is Daleks. crawling with Daleks. Sorry, technical difficulties. We get that a lot with Daleks. Well, system for soaring. Doctor, I have a question. But first, I will exterminate the, the panel. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Could you hear that? Will the doctor's daughter be coming back? Will the doctor's daughter be coming back? Um, here's Beth. <laughs> We've just had the doctor's wife. I think she's yeah, I know. He's, he, there are wives. Now listen, the Dalek's taking his hat off. That just, come on now. <laughs> Nice, dude. You know, that um, effect is actually better than the original ones from the old show. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Again, that's a, a Stephen Moffat question. He, it's, it's a, he's the man that decides who's in and who's out, you know. So, you never know. I think the door is always open. Did she die at the end of that? No, that's not that uh, oh, <laughs> no. She survived. <laughs> and then she married the doctor. Yeah. <laughs> Which is weird. <laughs>